Hey everybody, I'm Joey and today we're cooking thick cut pork chops using the sous vide method. These chops are so tender, they'll melt in your mouth. So follow me and let's turn up the tasty. I recently bought this sous vide machine and I've been trying out a lot of new recipes. Today, I'm excited to share the sous vide pork chops with you because I am absolutely blown away by the results. Seriously, they are the most tender chops I've ever had, hands down, and that's not hyperbole, that's the truth. Today, we're using thick cut, boneless loin chops. See, we bought a full pork loin and hand cut these a little over an inch thick. Because they're really lean cuts of pork, they can easily dry out using traditional cooking methods. I'm sure you've had that happen to you before, but that's where this method comes in really handy. Uh, we've seasoned these using a uh, Jojo rub and we've included a link in the description below. But you can really use whatever you like. I mean, whatever suits your palate, go ahead and use that. Next, we threw in some butter and some thyme and we sealed these using our vacuum sealer. Seriously, these are going to be absolutely Fantastic, you'll thank me later. Sous vide is a French term that means under vacuum. It's basically a warm little meat bath, if you will, where the machine controls the temperature of the water in here for a sustained period of time, which then cooks the meat. It's called science, you can Google it. Let me show you what I mean. You can attach this machine to nearly anything that holds water, but today we're using this small cooler because the cooler retains heat really well. We're gonna set this machine to 140 degrees. So now all we need to do is place these chops into their little meat bath right here. Clip them to the side and I do that so the bag doesn't interact with the machine. And that's it. You can grab a beer or a smooth bourbon, watch the game and hang out. All right, these have been cooking now for three hours and as you can see, they don't look really pretty. They're missing that great sear on the outside. That's called the Maillard effect. That's when we get that great caramelization on the exterior. Don't worry, we're gonna get it on there by searing these really quickly, about 30 to 45 seconds per side in the cast iron skillet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some of this olive oil, get it added to the skillet, about a tablespoon, not too much, and let that get nice and hot. While that's waiting to heat up, I'm gonna go ahead and pat these dry with a paper towel. And I'm just gonna also add just a little bit more seasoning. A lot of it ran out with those juices, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more on there to both sides. This is gonna take a few minutes to get blazing hot. We really wanna see that smoke coming off the top. We wanna get it nice here because we're, we're only searing them for a very short amount of time. So while I'm waiting for uh, this to heat up, I'll just have a drink. So let's go ahead and drop these guys on here. Love that sound. That sound right there is the sound of tasty. All right, we're gonna let those cook for 30 seconds on this side. Then we're gonna flip them and let them cook for another 30 seconds. And then we're gonna make sure that we sear the fat cap and the sides as best as we can to get that awesome sear all over. All right, so there, we're seared on all sides and we're ready to dig right in. The very best part about this is technique is that you don't have to let your meat rest when it's done cooking. We can cut right in and we don't have to worry about losing all the meat juices like we do with traditional cooking methods. This is my favorite way to make pork chops now. And if you don't own a sous vide machine, I suggest you consider adding one to your kitchen. But now let's cut in and see how they look. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to try these out. See how they taste, they're gonna be terrific. Our motto at Red Meat Lover is cooking meat 
made easy. And that's just what we strive to show you in every single video we make. If you like our video, please give us a thumbs up or even better. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Your subscription goes a long way in supporting our channel. And in closing, I just want to share with you what Shakespeare said. Sous vide or not sous vide? That is the question. I'll see you next time. That's fantastic. Mm.